Hey guys, what's up? So a lot of um, a lot of people they don't understand with Django what they have to do in order to get their CSS and everything to work with their project. So here, what I have is I have a Django project that has no CSS, so it looks really ugly. Um, now, one of the things I need to show you is uh, number one when we look at the the template directory here. Uh, you need to actually, the first thing you need to have at the, at the top of your file is load static files. This is assuming that you're not um, actually extending a uh, base template, because if you're extending a base template, you always put the extend statement first and then load static files second. Um, however, I don't have an extend statement up here, so I'm putting load static files at the top. So anyway, that needs to be put there inside the curly braces with the percent sign, and then wherever you want the static files to show up you need to do this so like this whole thing right here I would replace all this uh, this static stuff that I have to replace crap I would end up having to copy all this put this like that and then um, and the, the reason why we do that is because in the static it's gonna look at the settings file to figure out where is the, the static pointing to and right now the statics not pointing to anything so we need to actually add a static file directory to our settings file so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna add shite I need to add um, here's from the documentation I'm gonna add this and um, we need to put the direct path to where the uh, the templates directory, or I'm sorry, the the static files directly uh, directory can be found. So here you can see my static files directory. If we look at the folder structure, I have projects, heroin, another heroin folder, and then that's where my static folder is located. So that's the directory that needs to be pointed to. So projects, heroin one, heroin two, static. So now we have the static files directory set up and every time we do that um, static statement inside of our template it's actually reading this value so if I went back over to the templates you can see uh, by me doing this um, we should have better results so if I went ahead and refresh this you can see that we now have CSS and we're still missing uh, probably some stuff in here let me see No, nope. everything should be fine now. And the reason why it's fine is because all this stuff points to external links, and it just so happens that the folder structure is is static that it's pointing to, like for the font awesome and everything. So everything is uh, is being pointed to correctly, so that's good. And you can see all the JavaScript files and everything are all in the static directory as well. So to see that working in action, if the if the templates directory didn't follow the exact same, see what what ended up happening is when I downloaded this Bootstrap template, I actually took the entire template structure, like the whole folder that I downloaded that had all the JavaScript, CSS, and everything, and I extracted it right to my static folder. So uh, everything just falls in line perfectly with the static folder structure. So that um, you, you guys may not understand what I'm talking about. It's late, and um, basically, if if uh, it didn't use a static folder and say they called it something like resources or something else, then none of this stuff would work. I'd have to have that static command that I showed you guys how to do in the template. I'd have to do that everywhere, but I don't have to do that because the the patterns fall in line. And what I was trying to show you is if I look at uh, page source. Down here at the bottom, and I click on like the static JS. You can see that it's pointing to my static JS folder just fine. And once again, um, I don't have to to reiterate that too much. But the point is, if you can't find your static files, make sure you have your static directory defined in your settings folder or settings file. And then inside of your template, make sure you're loading static files all the way at the top and then also make sure that you have this static command just like this 
because in the last example I'll show you before this video so you guys know that this is doing something you can see that when we look at the source file those first two CSS files are actually using that that command that I've showed you so if I view the source and we look at the first two statics up here you can see that um, it, imp it inputted the forward slash static forward slash so that becomes beneficial when you start moving your project from one server to another um, that you don't have these absolute paths spelled out because absolute paths are an absolute disaster and you'll learn that really quickly in web development so you want to avoid that as much as possible so that is the reason for doing it. Just follow that, that structure of load static files and put the static everywhere you're referencing images and JS and CSS and even font files and anything else like that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.